All right, this is kind of a fun word sort. This is the sort 32. And we're looking at words that end in that er sound. And sometimes those words can be used as comparatives, meaning that they're words to compare something else, like bigger, like my classroom is bigger than hers, or um, smoother. This whiteboard is smoother than the platform, right? So these are called comparatives. We're com they're adjectives to compare to something else. And they end, always end in that er, in that er sound. On the other hand, we have things called agents, and these are nouns, and they're people who do things. So it's like the title of somebody, like a dancer or an actor. A dancer is somebody who dances. An actor is somebody who acts. A beggar is somebody who begs. Let's put these in categories. A voter is somebody who votes. Brighter, well, is we, brighter isn't uh, com talking about a person who does something. It's comparing, and it's an adjective. Like this light bulb is brighter than the old one. Swimmer is somebody who swims. Sailor is somebody who sails. Trader ooh, is somebody who's a trader. Burglar is somebody who burgles. Farmer is somebody who farms. Sooner, it's not comparing, it's not somebody who soons. <laughs> sooner is comparing, so sooner rather than later. Older, so this would be I am older than my brother, so I'm comparing myself to my brothers. Younger is another comparative adjective. Jogger. Jogger would be somebody who jogs. Dreamer, somebody who dreams. Driver, somebody who drives. Fresher, fresher, somebody who freshes. Nah, fresher would be an adjective. It's comparing like this banana is fresher than the old ones. Writer is somebody who writes. Smaller would be describing, it's an adjective, it's uh, comparing something like um, my pencil is smaller than his. Put that there. Shopper is somebody who shops. Tutor is somebody who teaches. And longer is a comparative uh, adjective. Like my hair is longer than his. So it's comparing uh, my hair and his hair. There we go. So go ahead and uh, sort these on your own and practice these throughout the week. We will have a spelling test on 10 of these words on Friday. Thanks.